So hello everyone, welcome back to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Muskan Agarwal and today we have the Bendu with us today and he's going to share about his interview experience. So let's start by having a brief introduction about him so that you know the audience connects with you better. Yeah, so hi guys, uh, I am Divyendu Biswas. So I'm currently a final year at IIT Kharagpur pursuing EC. And yeah, I recently got an internship from Disney Hotstar. And it was through campus drive. So and I'm currently yes. living in Kolkata. That's it. Okay, that's really great. So as you mentioned that it was an on-campus uh, placement. So yeah. does Hotstar hire off-campus as well? Or is it just like from campus itself it hires? No, I guess uh, Hotstar doesn't. Till now it doesn't uh, take off-campus drive for internship. For placement, of course, it does uh, off-campus and yeah like uh, even hotstar also okay. came to our campus for the first time okay that's really great also can you tell us a bit about your coding journey before you know we dive into your interview experience and everything like how did you get introduced to coding and how did coding interest you a bit about that actually yeah uh, uh, it started in my first year so in my first year i was pretty good at uh, yeah bsa so like uh, we had an we had a subject called PDS for programming and data structure, so I was quite good at that. And then uh, in the second year, when I got to know that uh, on campus, like CDC is coming internship, so like it was at August. Uh, it was around August after the summer vacation. So I started preparing like at uh, February or Jan. So like for four to five months, I prepared uh, studying DSA and all. Yes. Yeah, I see a lot of students asking this doubt that, you know, how many months should we devote to uh, prepare for DSA? I think it varies from every student to student, right? Like, there's no set time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But like, uh, four, like four to five months is pretty enough. If you enough. Like four. Yeah, more than enough. Yeah, exactly. Uh, then the next thing we can dive into your interview experience and like the kind of questions that was asked in your interview. So can you share the type of questions, not the exact questions that were asked uh, in your interview? Yeah, okay. Like uh, in my interview, there were total of two rounds of uh, two rounds. One one comprised of normal general questions of hoops and and another was DSA round. So in the first round, the, I actually remember the question. It was something related to like. Uh, uh, I had to implement map using OOPS concept, something like that. Okay. And it, and also like a different kind of, the map can consist of different uh, kind of characters and something like that. I don't remember the question clearly, but it was something like that. And after that, uh, the interviewer asked me about my project and some questions on the project, plus some concepts of OOPS. OOPS. And in, okay. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay then in the second uh, yeah in the second round it was a dsa round and the question was there were two questions one was easy one the easier one was implementing an n to the power m in log m complexity and another question was uh, it was related to linked list and i guess hmm. the question was like you have to sort k sorted linked list of size n uh, and sort them into one. So, okay. so basically, you start with a basic approach and then gradually optimize it to the uh, smart uh, optimized version with the it. smallest time complexity. Right, definitely. So, like, there were two interview rounds, and both were technical. Yeah, yeah, yeah both. Okay, were so there was no HR. HR yeah, yeah, the, the over, round, yeah, last yeah, the last round was. No, the third round was the HR round, but no, nothing related to like uh, database, uh, DBMS, not them or system management. The last one yeah. was just like, if you get to the last round, then consider that you are, you have cleared the interviews. The HR round was just background check and all. You've cleared the interviews? Also, as you mentioned that a lot of questions were asked to you on your projects. So I have seen a lot of my juniors asking this doubt that uh, DSA development. Okay. So what will you suggest? Like 
do you think uh, doing only dsa or only development will help you get through a good offer or like how should we manage between those actually uh, the questions on development was not like uh, really specific to the project it was more of a general question like i did a project on django so they he uh, he asked me about mvt structure and all so it was like generic question on django not on the project itself so i would say like mostly focus on dsa for the interview part for like for the for the uh, yeah for the entry level engineers it is i guess the dsa is much more important because DSA after some experience yeah after some experience in company then i guess they may ask you about system designing and all yeah like i think 90% of the companies like they have dsa as the for sd1 or interns at least they have dsa yeah, yeah, exactly. as the like you know the standard thing yes yes exactly right also talking about projects can you talk a little bit about the projects that you worked on so uh, actually i did an internship that summer itself so it was it wasn't two, it was a two month two month unpaid internship for for the purpose of cv itself so so uh, in that i developed, developed up some apis using django and i also did a self project so that was uh, yeah that was same i developed that using django itself so it was kind of like easy and familiar to me but but i would say is that uh, one one or two weeks is enough for like uh, for a project to get it to your cv and for well, yeah you can of course do an internship that would be great okay internship or like any personal project as well because or even if it is a small project i think it is beneficial because a lot of times students start working on complex projects but they're not able yeah, to finish yeah. it yeah 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 so, exactly yeah a simple like a simple project would be enough because enough the yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was saying, can you give some example of projects that students can work on? Because many times there are so many projects available on internet and like op- yeah. project uh, ta- like options available, so students get confused. So can you maybe give any three or four example of projects that a beginner can work on? Like one of the best example would be if there's a project in your hostel, like uh, mm-hmm. like uh, mess management system, something like that, which helps right. in which will be used in. somewhere uh, as well as then your you and your friends can join or your seniors can join to the project and then uh, complete it so th- right. so there's mess management system then library some library management system then hotel management mm-hmm. then resume i i i worked on re- uh, resume builder so that was my project okay. so these simple pro- simple yeah. projects can be done and there are also i guess in colleges there are comp- various com- competitions like open soft hackathons and all so if you could compete in them and like have a team and do that pro- complete that project then you are all- you are competing plus your uh, project is getting Yes, I think hackathons are a great way, like wherein you can make projects within a distributed yeah, yeah. amount of time as well, and you have a great product at the end of two to three days, right? Yes, uh, yes, so, exactly. yes, definitely. So, also, like as you talked about the project, like library management system or mess management system, so all these are very practical application projects. Yeah, so, yeah. like when you show it to the interviewer, like it's really nice that you are. actually implementing it something that you can use in real yes, life yes. Okay, that has exactly. its application because that is something that you will do in a company right yeah 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 exactly so not going into some difficult and like uh, hmm. which comprises of lots of algorithms or ml models you can just simply yes. implement simple projects right so the next thing as you talked about resume as well so i think resume is something that reaches to the company before even we go to the company okay so what all uh, tips would you like to give to the students who are you know submitting their resumes to any company or what all did you do in your resume that helped you stand apart from the rest okay yeah like uh, for an on campus drive like something uh, some of the things matter like Uh, mainly your C- cgpa th- that would matter in the on campus right and apart from yeah. that if you want your cv to stand out you can add your ranks like code forces best rank then what your what's your code forces rating code chef rating 
plus if you have uh, competed in competition like kickstart or core jam you can add their rank to and and like uh, you have competed in some hackathon and all you can uh, you can also write that mm -hmm. and it would be best like for if you are interested in development then uh, some of the contests like g if you clear g sock and all that would be a big Great. stand out to your yeah. cv Right. Also, like some students use double column and some students use single column. So, what will you prefer? Or like, is there any specific reason why should we choose any specific one? Oh, I didn't get your question. What is double column? Oh, uh, like some people like double column as in like two sides they'll write, and some people just okay. write it like one side, like throughout the like one paper they'll I write one okay, single okay. line, and some people divide it into two columns. Ah, okay. Like uh, I would prefer the single column because it it's easier for the in, uh, companies interview. to go through yeah interview go through the go through your CV because they they generally go through a lots of CV and if they are fancy sort of then it is difficult right. for them to understand which portion to look forward just like uh, what whatever your major achievements are just uh, like write them on on the top and just bold some of the major frameworks and all like your ranks or frameworks and all and that keeping it simple would be the best way to go would be the best way right definitely many a times we have heard that make your resume ats friendly okay because uh, companies pass it through a machine and then the resumes get shortlisted so how can a student make the resume ats friendly so that it you know it passes through that machine and you know your skills are getting noticed in that Okay, I guess in the in this regard, I don't have, because on camp on uh, we have on campus drive. The format of CV was same for everyone, okay. so we just have okay. to add. Uh, so that's why I I don't have much huh, on this. I think resume plays uh, more important when it's off campus drive because you know that is where yeah, yeah. they get so many resumes. Yes, yes, uh, yes, exactly. Okay, then uh, I believe writing a code in an interview is very different to what we write on code forces or lead code, right? Like writing a code in mm -hmm. an interview yeah. is itself an art. So any three tips that you would like to tell the student that they should not do in an interview? Like if you do this and it's a big red flag for the interviewer. Okay, like uh, some of the points that I remember is uh, first, the most important point is keep, uh, keep interacting with the interviewer. Because they are there to help you and guide you. So whenever you are you get stuck, then you can ask for hints and like keep in track whatever you are doing with your code. Just keep explaining it, explaining it to them. And wherever uh, you go something wrong, then they'll automatically they'll guide you. So yeah, uh, there's that. And then don't like cross question the interviewer with some uh, like don't try to be over smart with the yes. interviewer and cross question it. So that would be another point, and and lastly, just yeah, uh, okay. I guess that's it. Like, yeah, if you keep on interacting and like, uh, you will get enough hints to get, get through the question if you keep interacting. Yes, I think communication is very important. Like even when I was giving my interview for Amazon, so like my interviewer actually guided me how to yeah, yeah. like I was going wrong. So okay, but because I was explaining my approach, so he told me that you know this place you're going wrong. So then I corrected it. So I think communication yes, yes. is very important in an interview, right? Yes, okay. yes, yes, exactly. Also, they one also thing I would want. Yeah, yeah, continue. Yeah, they also look for the communication skills. Like uh, in a company, also if you get stuck at a at a phase and you are like stuck on your ego that you will solve it by yourself, but but instead of doing like taking two or three days, just ping them and uh, they are they are there to help you out. Yeah, definitely. Also, like what happened? Like, did you face any situation in which you were not very sure or you did not know a solution to a particular question? Like, what to do in such case? Like, should we keep trying for like some time or should we straightforwardly tell the interviewer that I don't know this question? Actually, in that case, you can like answer diplomatically that uh, hmm. like you are stuck and whatever you have done till that time, you can just explain it to them and just say that I. I don't know what to do like after this point. Right. So that would be it. 
like directly <laughs> it is not advisable to directly say no i guess and also not keep quiet and so right, because the time is limited like it is one yeah. hour and a half hour so in any case you are wasting your own time if you are taking too long in one particular question right yeah yeah exactly right so the next thing we did not talk about the hr interview so can you tell like i think hr interviews are also very important like some students i see are not able to clear those so like what kind of questions were asked to you in hr interviews okay so like my hr interviews was pretty simple like it was more of an background check and they also asked like uh, like wh- what do you know about disney hotstar so like what i would say is that just know about the company itself because uh, i had i had a friend like he he cro- he crossed like he cleared two rounds of interview but in the hr round he actually didn't know yeah. much about the company so that he was rejected and yeah but on on campus drive i don't think they ask much yeah uh, at hr round yeah but still for off campus i think hr also plays a very important yeah, exactly. i have seen students clear four technical rounds and then finally getting rejected in uh, uh, okay. hr round <laughs> so yeah <laughs> like people should not take hr interviews lightly and you know, know about the company as you mentioned like know about the company that you are interviewing for yes yes exactly. yes so i think i have asked most of the questions that were relevant uh, for the interview experience Uh, any other tips that you would like to give to the students for disney hotstar specifically like the students who are going to you know sit in an interview or maybe going to give online assessments yeah so like uh, mostly the important part is like get your basics clear uh, whatever be the subject like whether it is about your project or dsa or uh, oops or or os or dbms get the basics okay. like uh, in an interview i was asked like what is the, uh, what is data structure so like uh, the questions can be as simple as that but if you are not able to uh, answer such simple question then it would right. create a bad impression and also like keep keep calm during the interview not get too hyped or like mm-hmm. too under confident and uh, yeah the last thing is keep trying like if you are not able to clear one company then you can like don't like just give up i have seen many people like after two three rejection of company they just gave up mm-hmm. and uh, but just keep like i also my, i cleared disney hotstar like my third attempt before that i had given mm-hmm. two interviews uh, one at oracle and one at i guess i don't know uh, nvidia it was i guess nvidia so that i cleared the third at uh, disney hotstar so just keep trying and yeah mm-hmm. you have patience like eventually you'll, you are going to get it yeah yeah so you get actually experience and then eventually you do get pass the fun yes exactly like keep trying like do not get disheartened sometimes you win sometimes yeah, you yeah. learn right so is yes, keeping that in mind so with that we can end this webinar thank you so much for sharing your experience yeah. and coming to geeks for geeks it was really fun interacting with you thank you yeah thank you mr thank you bye okay then bye bye